You are now watching the one and only Premium Culture Network. Life is lyrical. lyrical, lyrical. <laughs> What up, good people? So Diamond from Crime Mob, I know y'all know about that Crime Mob, that nook if you buck. She sat down with Big Tigger today, and she explained what went down and ultimately why she was dismissed from the group. I'm gonna let y'all check it out, and then we'll talk about it. And also, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so the channel can grow, and we can grow together. This is Care From Life, it's Lyrical. Let's work. You get a lot of shots thrown your way for the... Let's call it the demise of Crowd Mob. What is the true reality of what? Why ain't the family the family? Um, I think the issue initially started years ago. Um, during the Dirty Chick, Dirty, uh, Dirty Awards, I was nominated for Dirty Chick of the Year, and I was singled out. And at the time, we had a joint manager who said that you know, allegedly, not the guys, but. The fe other female princess in the group said that if I walked the red carpet by myself, I could no longer be a member of the group. Laughed it off, didn't really think nothing of it. Ended up getting there after, about 30 minutes after them. And that's when um, BET and all that other major outlets was like, well, Diamond, how does it feel to no longer be a member of Crime Mob? I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, princess just told us you're not in the group. Wow. So I think that it hurt me so much. It devastated me so much because I never intended on being solo. But it was one of those things to where I'm going to show you. It's the game you want to play, I'm going to mm. show you. So the guys ended up being kind of like caught in the middle of it and being affected by it. Uh -huh. But the impact we had on the culture was so huge mm. that it kept calling us to be back together, whether it was doing something with V103, mm -hmm. the car and bike show, and just uh, the recent, most recent locked in was when JD had us to perform at the Essence Festival. Oh, yeah. And he was adamant. He was like, because you, like you said, sometimes you would see them do things by themselves and see me by myself. And he was like, I need all the members. And that feeling that I felt being on stage and the, the interaction and the reaction from the crowd made me be like, okay, we got to figure this out. So to answer your question, not to ramble, um, if money is involved or if it's a, a relationship or something that's for the culture, I'll definitely show up and do my part. Um, but as far as, you know, rekindling and going back under that mm. umbrella, I think I need a little bit more time mm. to finish out more of the solo mm -hmm. um, path of Diamond when I get to a certain point yeah. and I feel like I've accomplished a certain amount of things and I don't mind probably revisiting doing a lot more things with the group. Okay, so there you have it, man. That's that's actually kind of sad because Prime Mob was a dope group and that's only one side of the story. I'm sure there's another side of the story, but I can actually see her side of the story being real because Diamond stood out from that group. Everybody knows that. I don't know anybody else's name in the group. I do know Princess, you know what I'm saying? But nobody in that group was as talented as Diamond. I come in the club, shaking my dress, throwing these bowls and busting these ass. And that's hands down. If you disagree with me, let's talk. Every other MC in the group. I mean, they did their thing. I don't think they were bad. You know what I'm saying? They held down the song, but whenever I listen to Crime Mob, I just wanted to hear Diamond, yo. Y'all let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree, man. I appreciate y'all as always. Please be safe out there. This is Care From Life. It's Lyrical. Peace. Love. Lyrics.